Welcome to section 5, Methods. Up until now, we've been writing all of our code inside of main. But what I really didn't explain is that main is a method itself. It's called the main method. And that's where the program starts running its code. So when you start up your program, it starts running code from the main method. Now, we're going to be talking about methods in this section, and basically, a method is just a way that we can group code together into one block, basically. So, a method is basically some type of action. So, for example, we've been using methods all along. We've been using console.writeLine. So, writeLine is a method. It performs code. So, we just say writeLine. But behind the scenes, it's actually doing a lot of code with actually running it to the console screen. Another method is int.parse or parse. Parse is a method. And that method, we just call parse and pass in some information. But parse behind the scenes is doing a lot of code for converting a string into a different data type. So when you write a method, you could put all this code, wrap it all up into a single method. And then whenever you need to use that code, you can just call the method. So it's really useful when you want to organize your code and, and, and put code together that, it, that gets used a lot. For example, let's say we wanted to have some kind of method that can calculate the average. So instead of actually having to write a for loop and do all this code every single time or whatever it takes, um, we, don't, we don't need to keep on doing that code. Because let's say, for example, we need to calculate the average three separate times so we need to do it once and then maybe 100 lines down the code we need to do it again and then we need to do it again so we need to calculate the average three times instead of having that code in three separate spaces inside of the main method we can just make a method or a function a method or function basically the same term so we could basically make a method put that code for calculating average into that method and then we can just call the method every single time we need to actually make the average instead of having the code in all three different places. And what that allows us to do is if we ever need to make changes to that code, we only have to make a change to it in one place. And then all the other places that are actually calling the method um, can see that changes automatically. They don't, you don't need to go to each place that's using it and change anything. So it's really good when you're actually making changes of wrapping this code into a method. When we actually get into the next section where we talk about classes, we'll look at methods a lot more and we'll see how, the, how classes and methods work together because everything in programming in C Sharp is basically within a class.